Hello guys, so welcome to my build of my computer. Um, real quick, I'm just going to give you a little uh, head start of what I got first before I got all the other parts. So I purchased uh, the uh, MSI Z87M Micro ATX motherboard with uh, 2 8GB of uh, Ripjaw RAM. Uh, both of these have already been uh, placed into my Corsair. Uh, 350D as you can see the RAM's inside in the motherboard as well I've already done a little bit cable attachment and cable management with that but here in this box right now is uh, the rest of the parts and you're about to see what I decide to buy so let's see I'm gonna oh wait is this upside down give me a minute guys I'm sorry so let's see I purchased this on um I believe on the Thursday of last week and it's come out uh, it's shipped a little bit earlier today so alright so right away first we notice that the uh, processor 4770k this is a beast uh, let me just get rid of this bubble wrap I'm sorry I don't really have like a working bench to be uh, do this professionally but I just I'm using what I have um, Cool, free uh, Assassin's Creed. That's awesome. Uh, I've went with a uh, more cheaper style of a SSD, but if you look at the read and write speed, it's actually more than uh, the uh, Samsung A40 Pro series, which I have on my laptop over there. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if you guys wanted to see, but this is basically my current working bench. Um, I have a monitor attached to a, a laptop, Razer Death Star keyboard, and Nexus 7 tablet, but moving back uh, to the main main things. Toshiba 120 gig, 28 gigabytes SSD. This is going to be great if you want to have a cheaper alternative for SSD, and you get great, amazing write speed. All right, that second item, and this was given free from Newegg, which is something I am very grateful for. Thank you, Newegg. Um, I don't know the deal that you have to. Um, the requirements in order to get this free, but it basically showed up in my uh, checkout for free. So, um, okay, and oh wow, this is big. The Corsair H1 110. This is going to be the best thing that you can get, in my opinion. The best thing for w cooling your CPU, if, especially if you're overclocking it. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, the total of my whole PC C, uh, C, computer build was um, approximately around uh, 1300 Uh Yeah, it's pretty pricey, but everything comes with a price. Alright, and we got the Twin uh, Frozer uh, Gaming GTX 760. Uh, I could have went with a 780, but I just felt like... Um, that would be really overdoing it for what I'm just going to be using. I'm just going to be playing games, uh, League of Legends, DayZ, uh, and just more games. If, uh, if any of you guys have any good suggestions. Uh, okay, and this is just proceed. And the power brick, holy, cr holy crap! This is big. This is bigger than the uh, the uh, H110 box. But wow, holy! Hold up, guys. I'm gonna need to use two hands for this. But all right, here we go. The HX850. This is a whole ATX power uh, supply. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna put my camera down so I can remove the box from my bed. And then just basically get you guys a better look of everything. Uh, I'm sorry if the camera's face a little bit weird. Alright. Let me just get this out of the way as well. This is it. So, uh, I'm probably gonna fast forward and putting everything in my computer but I I guess I'll take a minute to show you what's in my my chat my uh my case a little bit better because the plastic on the the window side is a little bit still uh, a little blurry you can't really see everything okay wow that was really all right here we go this is my motherboard yep really nice uh, and the reason why I brought a full ATX uh, power brick instead of a micro ATX power brick um, is because this chassis supports a full 
I'm not sure if you can see, but the uh, the uh, uh, dust filter supports a full uh, ATX power brick, and I think I know for sure that I'm going to be uh, using a lot of power for overclocking and and RAM and the fans as well. So I'm going to definitely need some more power. So I'm going to cut the video now, guys, and then I'll come back after I finish everything. I finally finished the build. And, um, I'm sorry that you can't really see anything inside of it, but I have a class in about 30 minutes right now, and I have to go, and apparently you can see it's daylight, probably when I come back it's gonna be, uh, a little darker, uh, but I'll have flash on this camera, and then I'll walk you guys through it, so, until then, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have the side panel removed, and I have flash on, so now you can see all of the parts inside my computer, uh, here's the, uh, Corsair H110, with the, uh, two, uh, dual fans intake system and I have my RAM right there if I can get it on the side and get a little focus see G skill um, 8 gigabytes 16 total um, I have the i7 4770k clocked at 4.5 gigahertz um, and yeah here it goes is the uh, power brick with I have a um, I think a terabyte Barracuda and the Toshiba is in this uh, tray right here. Um, here, but obviously here is the graphic card. It's uh, I have uh, it hooked up with two PCI Express uh, for full power. And honestly, like it's amazing. It's so beautiful. It runs games phenomenally. I like never experienced games. I used to. So this was my old uh, gaming system. I always played uh, games on this. As a, it has a dedicated graphic card, NVIDIA, NVIDIA GT 660M, I believe. I am, I'm not really sure. But um, okay, what else? What else am I forgetting in here? Uh, but yeah, uh, the motherboard you can see itself has the uh, flashing. Uh, well, the Alia, the nice cool audio boost color, uh, and it also has another one, another uh, LED light lights up MSI on the motherboard but obviously the graphic card's blocking it so you guys can't see um yes so yeah it's beautiful uh cable management is obviously like great you can barely see any cables um uh, there I also oh yeah guys um just FYI if you guys are planning running on the H110 uh or anything H110 really uh Corsair dual uh Dual radiator, I think that might be it. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm so I apologize for my uh, lack of like knowledge. But if you're planning on running a, like a really long radiator of any sort on the Corsair, uh, I mean the MSI Z87M motherboard, you're going to need this attachment, uh, which takes two four-pin um, connectors that obviously are the fan. Uh, two four four pin connectors and then convert it into just one single connector and that you can plug into the uh, available holes but sadly uh, the MSI Z87M only has two slots for um, for CPU fans and then uh, two at the bottom which you, uh, you probably can't really distinguish but uh, also something to note is that uh, you're going to have uh, trouble mounting a second uh, a uh, case fan on this side because of the tubes. Uh, I don't know if there are like fans available that are small or thin or whatever that can possibly fit. But so instead, this so um, I also probably didn't mention that this case came with two um, two fans. I'm sorry, I gotta keep everything focused. Uh, two fans, two uh, case fans, one in the front, which I'll show right now, and then one right here, which I removed. So that's also how you remove the, uh, the front panel for the fans. Okay, so on a, right now from the back, you can tell that these fans are different size. The top was originally from the back uh, end, and then the bottom was actually always there. Um, uh, so I had, um, I had a choice to either buy a new complete fan that's the same size as that, or just use that for now. And obviously, it's so much better to just use what you have now. So that's what I did. I took the fan from the back, put it in the front, and attached it, for, uh, quickly with ease, which is, with ease, I should mention, sorry. Uh, but 
yeah, it was so easy to, uh, so easy to figure out what, like, what was the problem. I mean, like, what to do next. Okay, alright, I'm gonna put back on the case. And, uh, give my final, final opinion. The computer is amazing. I cannot say more, and I will not. Uh, but what I will say is that if any of you guys out there are thinking about building a computer, definitely look into all of the parts that I purchased. I did my research. I think it's reasonable that you guys uh, t take it in consideration of buying these parts because they're very cheap for uh, for what they can do. And I've done some great uh, benchmarking tests on uh, Daisy, Arma 2, and uh, all that sorts of stuff. And I've gotten very good results. Amazing compared to my laptop, which was blown. Like it basically dropped a nuke on my laptop. Thank you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, if you guys want to look into the content that I'm might be posting in the future, it's mainly just going to be on about video games. Maybe a little bit of vlog. Maybe a little bit of uh, adventures or something. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy the video again and subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel, which uh, probably is in my YouTube description box or something like that. Or I'll probably just leave it down in the uh, YouTube video description. Okay, guys. Bye.